All right, guys, so now we need to um, access the database with our application. And the first thing I want to do is make these contacts in this table actually come from the database. So we know that this is in contacts.php. All right, and we're going to use our database class, um, which is a very simple PDO class. Uh, so to do that in this file, we need to first of all include the init file because that's the file that actually loads our class and config and all that. So include, I want to include core slash init.php. All right, so now we should have access to the database. All right, so what we want to do is uh, create a database object. So we can do that, Let's say db equals new database. Okay, so now we have this object that we can work with. All right, and very simple, all we want to do is select all from contacts. Okay, so let's run a query. We'll say db query. Um, select all from contacts. And these aren't quotes, these are um, back ticks and uh, you don't then you don't need to use them but I like to um, so now what we need to do is assign the result set all right so we'll say contacts is equal to DB result set all right, so now we have an array. This contacts variable is an array with all of our contacts. So down here, um, we want to get rid of all but one table row because we're just going to put it inside a for each loop. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this second one and the third one. All right, and what we want to do is right before the TR, we want to put our for each loop. So we want to say PHP for each. All right, and let's just end it down here. Okay, so for each contacts as contact and then we want to fill in our static content here. So the name will be PHP um, PHP echo contact first name and I said it I said this was an array it's actually an object okay we're gonna use this contact as an object that's why we're using this arrow syntax alright so we want the first name and last name uh, echo contact first name and then we'll concatenate a space and then we'll do contact last name okay so that'll that should give us the name so let's just make sure that this is all right good so now you can see the names are coming from the database um, the rest of these are static we need to change these so let's go back to our loop and just um, replace some things here okay the phone number This will be echo contact phone. And let me just copy that. Next we have email. Uh, address. This will be address one. Um, and we want to say if there's an address to then put that in as well so I'm going to put another list and say if contact address to then we're just going to echo it all right um, next we want the city 
state and zip code. All right. Okay, here we have a the group contact group. Okay. And the the edit and delete buttons we're going to do uh, in a little bit. So I just want to check this. We'll save it. Oh. All right. So now that we sorry about that. So now you can see that the all the information is now coming from the database. So that's good. Um, now edit is going to have we're going to have quite a bit to do for that. Uh, we need to basically have a form underneath our link for the modal. Uh, we have it done for the add contact, but we need to do it for each edit, edit button as well. Um, so I want to do that after. But right now what I want to do is um, make it so that we can add a contact. All right. So let's go back. Let's go to index and we have the add form right here. So I want to add an attribute here. I want to add an ID and it's going to be called add, add contact. The action can go just to this page because we're, we're going to catch it and then deal with it in jQuery. Uh, and we just want to say that the method is going to be post. Okay, and I think everything else is okay. Actually, no, we need to enter our names for our inputs. So we need input name, first name, whoop, that should be last name. Okay, email. Phone. And you should really try to keep these names, um, have them be the same as the database field name for, for them. Uh, contact group is going to be name equals contact group city okay city and this should not be email this should be text and placeholder Enter city. Okay, next we have state. So uh, select name equals state. Okay, zip is going to be zip code. And then notes, text area is going to have a name. notes okay and then the the submit button will give a name as well called submit all right so now that we have our names we can <coughs> go to script.js and we want to add um, inside of the ready function right under show contacts Say add contact, and we're going to do document dot on on submit. Okay, and then we want to put the name of the form or the ID of the form, which is add contact. Okay, so basically we're just saying when it's submitted, we want to run this function. OK, 
Okay, so when this when it's submitted, we want to show the loader image. Uh, what is this? Loader image dot show. All right, then we want to um, post data from form. All right, so we're going to use this post function, jQuery. Um, and then inside of here, we're going to say add contact.php. That's the file that we're going to post to, which is going to add it, add all the data to our database. Uh, and then we want to use serialize. So this object um, dot serialize. Okay, and then we'll move this and say dot done. And then inside here, we're going to say function. Pass in data so we can use that. All right. Um, and I'm just going to console log the data. I mean, you don't need to do that. I just like to just for debugging. Um, and then what we want. Remember, this form is inside of a modal. Um, so we want that to close after after the form submitted. Okay, so we can use the API here, um, the foundation API. So add modal, which I think we need to change it from my modal to add modal. Um, dot dot foundation, and we want to pass in reveal and then close all right and finally we want to show the contacts after all this happens all right and then down here actually let's put a semicolon there and then I think oh no this is right yeah uh, after this, we want to return false. Okay, save that. And let's go to index. And for the modal, where is it? Where is it? Oh, right here. We have this A, this link with the add contact button. We want to change this ID right here to add modal because we're going to have an edit as well, and uh, we just want them named separately. Okay, and then change the ID of the div to add modal. All right, so save that, and then we'll go back to our root and go to add contact. Okay, so get rid of that. So this is the page that it's going to post to, and I'm just going to paste some code into here all right and this is nothing we haven't seen before we've used this PDO class before uh, we're including the initializer creating a new database object uh, we're creating a query which is an insert okay so we're inserting into contacts and then just all the fields then we're gonna have values and then all the placeholders okay so um, and then down here, we're going to bind those fields. Okay, so we're going to bind first name, all these two posts to whatever is sent with the form. Uh, and then we're going to just execute it. If it's executed successfully, we'll get a contact was added. Um, and I believe these will show up in the console. All right, so that's good. Let's save that. And so let's give it a shot might need to do some debugging add contact just put in some random stuff here all 
All right, so let's give that a shot. And no. All right, so I'm not sure what happened. Oh, undefined index group, add contact, line 21. Add contact, line 21. Oh, we have post group. This should be contact group. All right, so let's, yeah, let's try that again. Um, all right, so let's reload and we'll go to add contact. And whatever, that's good enough. Let's just make sure it works. All right, so there we, there I am. Um, I didn't submit a state, so we can do some validation if we want. Um, but now that we know this is working, you can see down here we have contact was added, and then it's just going to show the contacts after it's added. Okay, so it's added really nicely. There's no page refresh; it just kind of pops in which is really the great thing about Ajax is that um, we don't have to do nasty slow page loads. It just pops right in, which is great. Uh, you could make this application, um, of course, you could make it without Ajax or without any kind of um, client side programming, but uh, it just makes it look and feel a little better and, and, and faster. All right, so um, I'm actually going to delete that uh, entry from the database just because it's ugly. Okay, so here it is. Delete. All right, so we have our select working it shows us the contacts and we have our add contact button working all right so in the next video we want to get into editing being able to edit each listing as well as delete listings